here at Clash of Trades, Maritime Edition. We're so excited to have this event here at Pennsylvania College of Technology. Students have the opportunity to win up to $10,000 in first place, $5,000 for second place, and $2,500 for third place. What a great way to get their career started. To be in a competition and I am nervous. I don't know what's coming at me. I, I'm just hoping for the best. Coming into this competition, I'm feeling nervous, but at the same time, I know I can do it. Welcome, we're here for Project MFG's Maritime Competition. Are you excited? Yeah. We are thrilled to have you here. This has been a long time in coming. You guys have been putting in a ton of work, ton of practice, all the different regional competitions, and we are excited to see what you are going to accomplish today. It's gonna to be hard, and you are gonna do an amazing, amazing job. Project MFG is partnered with BuildSubmarines.com because the U.S. Navy is very interested and understands the importance in helping young folks get connected to skilled training and jobs in the submarine industrial base for welding and machining and a whole host of other skilled trades because we need between 100 and 150,000 new skilled tradespeople over the next 10 years to help build three nuclear powered submarines every single year for the next 10 years. We don't have the, the number of folks available out there with the right skill set. So that's why the Navy is investing in activities like Project MFG. And there are more than 15,000 companies all over the country that build some piece that eventually ends up on a submarine. With these young students being exposed to these industry leaders and to this amazing trade, we are hoping to bridge that gap. And that is all thanks to Project MFG, creating this epicenter to do just that. Go ahead and dig into the Lincoln Electric bag that you're provided to you. We're excited that they are partnering with us on this. We got gifted this big tool bags of a whole bunch of things and you know, we had to unbox it. This should prepare you to go out and obtain any job you would like. All of the tools that you have in here, will be tools that you're going to need to complete the project that you're going to be doing today. This is what the students will be making. Hopefully, they'll have a completed battleship when they are done. Craftsmanship is the key. Make sure you take and pay attention to detail. They revealed the battleship and I kind of lost my mind. I was like, oh my God, like this is so cool. Clean, polish, prep, and make sure you follow the prints and the procedures. There are so many different fitments that the students are going to have to ultimately put together. So they're gonna to have to know which welds they have to perform first so their tie-ins are appropriately and correct to the industry standards. Craftsmanship is key. Congratulations on being the 16 finalist for the Maritime Competition. You are gonna have seven and a half hours to complete this project. On your mark, get set, go. I've been to a number of competitions so far, and this is the first maritime kind of national competition, which is just thrilling, right? To see the students walk in, they're excited about what they're coming to do today. Definitely a lot of excitement. See them looking through the prints, trying to figure it out. I probably looked at the blueprints and studied those for like the first 30 minutes before I even opened the bags or anything. Once they first got in the booth, everybody was really, really overwhelmed. So it's kind of just telling them how to break it down and just take it in little pieces, little chunks, and then it will ultimately start coming together just like a puzzle. The blueprints was somewhat challenging. Uh, at some points, I couldn't understand what type of weld to do. Start with the beveling and then put everything together and go from there. One piece at a time. <laughs> It really got you thinking because you had to make sure you knew how to read the drawings because they had like exposed corners. And if you didn't know that, you were gonna probably put it flush together, which was wrong. Yeah, you really had to look through them and double check everything, make sure you had uh, the right measurements, the pieces in the right spot. If you don't look at the little tiny details in the prints, you could end up messing up the whole project. When it comes to the students that are here today, you can tell that they're very passionate about what they're doing and they're very excited. It's great to see because you want people in the younger generations to get into it. Welding has something in it for everybody. And these competitions, what it does is gives these kids a real competitive edge to be able to see what it's gonna take to go out and be competitive to obtain some of these jobs for the Department of Defense and building our submarines and our aircraft carriers and our army tanks. So there's so many opportunities for young men and women to 
apply skills and getting into a skilled trade. I'm only 15 years old and competing with like college people or like college tech schools it makes me feel good because I could learn based off of other people. I'm really amazed at, at the quality and the knowledge that these young people have. What an opportunity for a young person to be competing in a contest like this. It is just, it's out of this world. It's fabulous. So I like these competitions because I like to see what the future holds for us. I feel like the Project MFG is starting to challenge the minds of these younger kids. There's measurements that they gotta hold, we gotta meet. As we're measuring, you know, does it doesn't meet all the hold points. Are the parts all located in the correct places? I had taken the two towers that are on the top and I welded them to the piece backwards. I was like, all right, I'm done. I can go turn it in now. And I looked down at my blueprint and I was like, oh my gosh, that's not right. I will admit at first I did panic and I was like, do I have enough time? Cause time was the biggest thing, but I just opted that it'd be better to just cut them off and completely redo it. My favorite part about welding is honestly that you can create so many things. You can really touch in your artistic side, but you also can build stuff for the world and overall how everything works. Welding is what holds the world together. That's why I say there's something in it for everybody. There is so many opportunities for people to go out and find their craft because that's what we have to start saturating the market with is good, talented, skilled men and women to be able to take over for the men and women that are getting ready to retire. One of the main things that I love about Project MFG is how it exposes students to real life aspects of welding and machining. Trades is really important, and besides, without trades, the U.S. and the world couldn't function the way it does, and Project MFG is definitely doing exactly what we need, and that is filling the gap so that the people that are lost and don't really know where they fit, we're filling that gap and the big need that's out there in the industry with trades, for sure. By doing all of this, we really get them ready to move into the workplace and almost pressure test their skills and get them ready for real life, real world experiences in the industry. It is a very tight race. There's only a 15 to 20 minute difference between the leader and the very last individual was absolutely extraordinary. All right, make sure all the trolley stacks in place, everything looks square. Nice and tight, you got your number on it? Looks like it is ready for the judges. All right, all right. Thank you, sir. Yep. When I was done, I was happy and proud because it was a big competition. It was a pretty big project that we had to weld. I mean, I had a family that worked on submarines, so I think that, I mean, I've always been in love with it since I was a kid. It's like, it's a real battle this time. I know, I'm starting to like decompress now. The rush is over, that adrenaline is starting to wear off, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. Even if I don't win, I got a lot of stuff from here, so it's fun just being here, having an opportunity to weld in front of everyone. It's great. Pretty proud, I had a good time. Thought I did good. Happy that I got it done in time, finishing it was a proud moment for me. Yeah, so the competition is, is, is very close. We're gonna do the final judging while the top six are within all point each. So it's gonna come down just to those little details. And it was a lot tighter than I really thought it was gonna be. So, I mean, it's anybody's game. They took the time in the beginning to make sure that their projects were fit up properly. They paid close attention to the prints and made sure all their joints were exactly what they were supposed to be. The difference we're seeing in some of the projects is they didn't take the time in the fit up. Competitors, welcome to the award ceremony for the first ever Project MFG 2020-2024 Maritime National Event. After all of your hard work, we have a great panel of judges that we're reviewing all of your work, and we're gonna take a moment now to hear from the judges and help let them give you some feedback on what they saw and how the whole project went. All right, from what I saw yesterday, I saw a lot of struggle, but I also saw a lot of good things, and some of you guys made great comebacks. However this plays out for you, you should be proud of what you did. I hope you guys have used this as an opportunity to refine what you're good at. No matter how you guys did today, the next competition is the one that matters.
congratulations, guys. It was a tough competition, and everybody got it done. I was really impressed to see that. Judging-wise, for us, it was definitely a challenge. Really, congratulations, everybody. Should be proud, and you'll have a great career in this uh, path of welding. It's the time we've all been waiting for. You ready? In third place, winning $2,500 from Chera Hotech, Parker Sloggenhop. I knew he had it in him, and I, you know, I'm grateful that he got the experience. Yeah, it's it's pretty, pretty sick. And in second place, winning $5,000 from Providence Career and Technical Academy, Alexis Lozada. I'm only a junior in high school, so I'm really surprised I even got second place. I'm actually really excited. I'm a very proud mom. And now, winning the first Project MFG Clash of Trades Maritime Edition, winning $10,000 from Hal Cheney Technical High School, Spencer Johnson. All the welds went smoothly because all the fit up is good. Each winner will also win a thousand dollar scholarship from the American Welding Society. Winning or losing, being here is already a win for me. It's a good community. Like it's just a cool thing to be a part of. We need more tradespeople, and I agree with that message. And to be a part of that means a lot. This is where it starts, and it's just going to grow, and grow, and grow. There is companies out there that want to see the next generation thrive. I really think that we should be doing more to celebrate the work of Project MFG and others that are in this in this space. On the buildsubmarines.com website, you can find training, but you can also find jobs. We have an opportunities page that is powered by ZipRecruiter. So there's the opportunity for students to click apply, and there's the opportunity for employers to find those individuals. How are we going to be able to complete the manufacturing that needs or the shipbuilding that is going to be built or the, the Navy uh, submarines that are going to be needed to be built? Well, when we see the quality and craftsmanship of the young men and women that participated in the event that we held here, it's amazing and it gives me a sigh of relief to say, wow, there are some amazing young men and women that are going to be able to fulfill these jobs. The Project MFG Maritime inaugural competition has just been amazing and BuildSubmarines.com has been thrilled to support this event and we look forward to many more years of success for Project MFG. We want to say a big thank you to our sponsors Blue Forge Alliance, BuildSubmarines.com, and all the trade schools that have participated in our competition. We hope you enjoyed our first ever Project MFG Maritime Competition.